Hola, me llamo Andrew. Today I'd like to teach you how to find the molecular mass of, nah, bro. I think that'd be a great shirt idea, right? What do you think? Well, shirt's on sale below. Help us out, please. Anyway, um, otherwise known as sodium hyperbromide. So take a look at the table. Let's get down to business. Bam. So the first step is to write the elements down that we see. So we got sodium, we got bromine, and we got oxygen. Then is to write the number of atoms of each, and that's where the subscripts come into play. Now, if you don't see a subscript down there, just put a 1 in there. It's assumed to be 1. So we've got 1 sodium, 1 bromine, 1 oxygen. Then we're simply going to multiply those number of atoms by the mass of each element, and that's where the periodic table comes into play. So sodium's mass is 22.99. Bromine is 79.9 and oxygen is 16. So those are the masses we are going to write down. So this is 29.99, uh, uh, 29, 22, 22, 22.99. Uh, bromine is going to be 79.90 and then oxygen was 16, right? All right, be helpful if I could remember. Now write the total mass of the element by just simply multiplying this row and across. So the total mass of sodium is going to be 22.99. Bromine is going to be 79.90 and oxygen is 16. That math was easy, and this math, don't multiply it. This math is going to be just as easy. Just simply add this column up to find the total mass of the compound. So this is 118.89. And the units down here are in terms of AMU, atomic mass units. Now you know how to find the molecular mass of NABRO. See you soon.